In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a bladed fantasy gorget out of foam sheets and some other basic supplies. This is a good, very stylish look for evil overlord sort of character, for when you need to be literally dressed to kill. Greetings and welcome to the Dream Syndicate. If you want to join me in making an imaginary reality, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now, let's get crafting. Similar to what I used in the postable foam metal video, these are the supplies that we'll use to make our gorget. You'll be able to find the supplies I'm using below in the description and pinned comment. And no, I'm not making up some hip way of saying gorgeous. Hey, gorget! What we're making here is a fantasy, and to be honest, less useful version of a piece of armor that's intended to reduce the odds you get stabbed in the throat. We'll get things started by measuring the circumference of Lord Bloodwall's shoulders. Then transfer that measurement to our foam sheet. I'm giving it this trapezoid shape so it tapers toward the art doll's neck and gets wider as his body widens. And I think I wanted it just a bit narrower, so we'll cut off a thin strip. Here we have the base form of the gorget that we'll work over top of. Now we'll draw a line close to the top and bottom of it. Next we'll take a thin file and follow those lines, creating tiny grooves. Then we'll take some 20 gauge wire, measured to be about the length of our foam piece, and twist that up. If you use techniques you learned from any of my videos, I'd be happy to take a look. You can tag me on whatever social media you're posting to. You can find my links below. We'll try embedding the wire pieces in some Fabri-Tac, but it's not something I trust to hold it in place. So instead, we'll lay down strips of medical paper tape. You know how some people fix everything with duct tape? Yeah, I can kind of be like that with paper tape. As I'm working, you might notice the somewhat large loops that I left on the end of the armature wire. Those loops are going to allow us to make an easy clasp that you'll see later. Once it's on, we'll do this half-assed sort of paper mache with Mod Podge and some water. I cut out these long blade forms that will find where the center is roughly, and then make a channel into them down the middle. Next we'll file the edges of our gorget piece into about a 45 degree angle. Now we'll take a little ball stylus and a needle file to create some texture. I attached little pieces of wire to the blades in much the same way I did the other wires, and here we're just leaving some extra on the end and crimping it over. We'll go ahead and add some texturing to each of the blades, scratches and dents and gouges. Oh my. Then we'll go ahead and paper tape the blade wires to the main form. This underside may not be pretty, but no one's going to be seeing it. It's our secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. We'll lay down some iridescent silver acrylic paint. Had I been a smarter man, I would have unfolded the bladed parts and painted both sides. I ended up doing this later off camera because I wanted to be able to move around the blade parts and even have the option of animating them in the future. Using some transparent raw umber ink, We'll bring out those texture details along the surface. When I use an ink wash, they're often diluted with some amount of water and sometimes a tiny bit of dish soap. Then, after a minute or two, wipe away the excess with a paper towel. And you can already see how cool that's looking. 
We'll just quickly go in and apply our ink wash to the back too. And then we'll do another layer to create a bit more visual interest and get a darker tone on the silver. Here we'll pick out some individual scratches. And then we'll take some of it away. With everything dry and ready to go, we'll fit it onto the Lord Blood Wall art doll. It's so hot right now. I left loops on the one end of the wire that will thread through the other end to tighten it on and kind of hide the wire pieces underneath. Now we can just sort of tinker with the positioning of these bladed pieces. If you want to see how other elements of this art doll was made, click the first playlist. Or you can check out one of my other videos. And if you want to join me in making the imaginary reality, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until next time, make believe.